Mr. Bag Time. Woohoo! Mr. Bag Time. Woo! Mr. Bag Time. Woohoo! Mr. Bag Time. Hello, YouTube friends and neighbors. Uh, if you might have noticed, background's covered in Funko Pops now. It's because I'm working on my big collection sort. Oh my gosh, I'm only about a third of the way through. I've already pulled out 40 duplicates from my shop just to clear out some of the Funko Pops that are taking over my house. Uh, but I have a lot more I gotta sort through, so I, ah, uh, overwhelming! <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. It's fun seeing a bunch of pops I've had put away and haven't seen in a while. So that's really exciting. So hopefully later in this month, I can actually do a full collection tour. I know you guys have been asking for it, and I'd be really excited to finally do one. So today, a lady came in with a bag of toys into my store, and she, my wife was watching the store, and she said, uh, she was going to throw these out, but she decided she loves our store. She just wanted to trade them to us. Like she kind of wanted to just give them to us, but she decided to take a couple of DVDs. She's like, ah, just give me a couple of DVDs. My wife ended up letting her take four DVDs. So I, I think she was happy and it looks like a cool bag. Now I haven't gone through it that much. The cool kid kind of started digging through it and pulling stuff out. This is what the bag looks like. If, if you guys can sort of see what's inside it. Oh, let's see if you, can you see what's inside it. So. I figured it'd be fun to go through the bag together, see what's in it. I think it's a lot of cool stuff. It's mostly like late 90s, early 2000s, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, that kind of stuff. So this is going to be fun. Let's dig into this bag. Okay, I'm going to start digging into the bag. All right, first, oh, this is cool. We have sushi erasers from Japan. Now, she did say some of the stuff was from Japan. So uh, that's cool. I like stuff from Japan. That's really awesome. Wait, who made those? Is that Iwako or is that someone else? Uh, yeah, it's Iwako. I haven't seen these before. These are older. I, I sell Iwako racers in my store, so I get a lot of them. But this one, I'm assuming, is like 10, 15 years old. It's not modern. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is cool. It's a little Dragon Ball Z pencil case. Um, You know, if you, this looks like a vintage, original, early... Although it's kind of bootleggy. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's early 2000s. Okay. Oops. I'm going to put this bag down. Okay, next we have a piece of cloth that looks like... It's actually kind of cool. It looks like a Frankenstein that you're supposed to cut out and sew together into a Frankenstein doll. That actually looks pretty cool. I, I feel like I kind of want to put them together. <laughs> Cool. I think that'll be a keeper. I have to decide. Some of the stuff I have to sell in the store, and then some of the stuff I'm going to keep. I think I'm keeping that one. And next we have... Oh, this is cool. This is uh, one of those Kid Robot Yummy World keychains. And it's like a um, caramel apple. That's going in my keeper pile, because I love those. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is cool. Kid Robot Simpson figure. These are very cool. Uh, I think this will go into my sell pile. Next, oh, this is cool. We have a Poliwhirl Pokemon figure that's a... Oh, it's a tape measure. Oh, that's really cool. So it's a Pokemon Poliwhirl tape measure. That's got to be semi-collectible because I've never seen that before. That's really cool, actually. I, I don't really collect Pokemon stuff. I'm a little bit too old for Pokemon, but I know the Pokemon fans that come to my store, they're going to be so excited to see that because that's cool. Okay. Okay, next we got... Oh, this is a little cute... Um, one of the Sailor Moon... I always forget which one is which Sailor... The, is that Sailor Mars? I forget which Sailor Moon character is which. She's cute. I'll definitely keep in that one. I like Sailor Moon characters. Okay, next we have uh, Meowlith. Like, uh, just a little final figure. What year is this? Just says Bandai 96, so it's vintage Pokemon. That's really cool. Okay, next we have... Uh, I think it's a Dragon Ball Z character. I'm not 100% sure, but it's an anime guy keychain. Definitely looks older vintage. That's cool, though. Very cool. Okay, we got Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff was my wife's favorite Pokemon back in the late 90s when it first came out. And I think this is a tape dispenser. Yeah, it looks like the, the little tape comes out and you pull the tape out. That must go with the tape measure. That is really cool. I, I almost want to keep... The supply figures, because those are kind of awesome. I have to debate that. <laughs> I need to sell something to pay my bills, but 
Oh, this is cool. This is uh, Sony Angel uh, 2011. So there is some newer stuff. QP little figures that they put out from blind boxes. I like these. I collect these. So that's definitely going into my pile. Oh, unless I have that one. I might have that one already. Okay, what's next? Okay, we have a... Oh, I forget this Pokemon's name. He's cool, though. This also looks like that early... Like, 90... 99. These are cool. These are... Someone who loves Pokemon is going to really be excited for these. Because these are vintage. Okay. Oh, Gudetama Keychain. 2013. Okay, so there is some newer stuff in here. That is really cute. I really like that. Okay, that's going into my pile. <laughs> Mount pile! Okay, we got another Dragon Ball Z, one of these little pencil cases. Uh, I don't know if these are official licenses or not. They look kind of cheap, but they just might be older and vintage. So that's cool. Okay, what else do we got? We got, oh, this is cool. It's a Pikachu, it looks like a stapler. Let's see, you know, a stapler. But it's a Pikachu, so that goes with the little supply set. That is cool. That, uh, I'm debating on keeping these ones because those are actually kind of awesome. Okay, we got a yellow troll with pink hair. That is uh copyright DAM. I don't know anything about these trolls. I don't think they're older, but they're cool. I have a lot of troll collectors that come through my shop, so they'll be happy with that. Okay, another Dragon Ball Z pencil case thingamajiggy. Uh, this has got to be early 2000s again. These are cool. Uh, there's going to be uh, someone who loves Dragon Ball Z that's going to be really happy to get those. And then, oh, this is a cute little, like, bat troll. It looks like an actual pin. It's got, like, a little snap here. That's cool. I, I like that. That's cool. But that, going into the shop. Oh, we got bigger Oh, this is cool. This is a uh, Bulbasaur. Is that who this is? Oh. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a big, giant version of him. All right, so you pull that out like that, and then you go like this. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I kind of want to keep that one, too. 2000. Vintage Pokemon. That is really cool. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, uh, Poliwhirl? He's a little vinyl or rubber figure. Manufactured for Burger King. So he's a Burger King price. 1999. Okay, next we have... Uh, is that Sailor Jupiter? I forget. She's missing her legs and stands. So hopefully the rest of her is in the bag, because I would like to keep that. Okay, and then we have uh, Dragon Ball Z guy. He's a little dirty. I'll have to give him a nice cleaning, but he's cool. Uh, okay, Pokemon. Uh, execute? Egg? Egg something. <laughs> I don't know all my Pokemon. I'm a little too old for Pokemon, but he's still really cool. And he's that same kind of late 90s plastic. 1997. These are cool. I really like those. Okay, we got a cool Dragon Ball Z action figure. A little bit dirty. Let's see, he has a button. Oh, that's cool. He lights up. He's got some Dragon Ball action going on here. That's actually kind of awesome. All right, so if someone likes Dragon Ball, we'll be happy with him. Okay, next we got another Dragon Ball Z guy. Keychain. Don't know much about these guys, but definitely, you know, people that love this stuff are going to be happy to see those. Need a little bit of cleaning, but that's okay. Okay, and we have a uh, Dragon Ball Z guy. It's just his head. I don't know if that's the way he's made or it just fell off or something. I forget his name, though. Okay, what's next? Okay, we got another little keychain. Oh, it's just the head. Uh, is that Goku? Head of a Dragon Ball Z guy. He's missing, uh, or Vegeta? No, it's Vegeta. Always forget the green guy. Or Piccolo. I don't know. You guys can correct me because I am a little bit too old for... Dragon Ball Z, but I like the character design, so I like having them in my shop because I know people like them. Oh, this is fun. This is a big glittery troll. Same era. What year is this? Doesn't say the year, but I'm assuming it's in the last couple years. They look kind of newer. That's cool. Okay, next we have another glittery troll. That's very cool. All the troll fans that come to my shop will be happy with that. Sailor Mercury. She's really cute, though. I'm going to put her into my keeper pile. Uh, okay, this is a neon orange troll. He's kind of cool looking. This bag is a lot of fun. Oh, this is cool. We've got Kid Robot. I believe, yeah, Kid Robot. 
Homer Donut. I usually don't keep Simpsons stuff, but I like the Treehouse of Horror one, so I might end up keeping that one. Actually, I think I will. That one's pretty awesome. Okay, we got another... We got a purple troll. He's kind of cool looking. I like it the way he looks with his red hair and purple body. That's actually kind of awesome. Okay, we got little headphone key ring kind of thing. I don't know what that's for. It's cute, though. I don't know if that fell off of something or if it was part of something. Okay, we have... uh Oh, what's his name again? Digger? I forget. He does something. Does he have a light? It looks like he used to have a light switch, but it doesn't seem to work anymore. Another Pokemon. Very cool. I like... Uh, okay, a witch's hat for someone. Not sure who that goes to. Unless it's still in the bag, maybe. And... Oh, okay, we got Sailor Moon. She's cool. I really like these little figures. Who made them? They're really cute. Nayako Ta Takuchi. I'm not sure the manufacturer, but I like the little... Sailor Moon figure. So I'm definitely adding these to my collection. Oh, okay. Here's the body to that keychain. So he'll need a little bit of repairing. He looks cool though. I just need to put a little bit of crazy glue or gorilla glue to fix him and he'll look like new. I mean, I need to clean him up as well. But he's really cool. Awesome. Okay. Next we have uh, Squirtle. Another Pokemon. I like the PVC Pokemon figures from the late 90s because they're a little bit heftier and these are cool. I think these ones kids would have had to pay more for back in the day. We got uh, I Heart Guts Sweat Pin. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Just a glob of sweat. That's actually kind of fun. Uh, okay, we got more of these Dragon Ball Z guys. All of them are a little bit dirty, so I'm going to have to scrub them down, but they'll clean up really nice. Now, that's the thing with plastic toys. You can just use a little brush and a uh, little soap, and they'll clean up really nice. Another one of these Dragon Ball Z guys. That's cool. Okay, we got... Oh, this is cool. Another Gudetama keychain. Uh, what is he? He's like... Coming out of like a jar or something. I'm not sure, but he's really cute. Uh, keeping that one. Keeper pile. I can't keep everything because I do have to pay my bills. Okay, we got uh, just a little tile. I don't think that's anything. Okay, that goes with the figure that was incomplete. So hopefully her legs are in there too. So there she is. Hopefully, uh, she's missing an arm and a leg. Hopefully the rest of her is in there. All right, another one of these Dragon Ball Z guys. Okay, we got her legs. And they just they have a little ball joint, so that should just snap in there. All right, so she just needs her one arm and then she'll be complete. Hopefully the arm's in there. I'd be happy if it's complete. Be a little sad if it's not. Okay, I think we're running out of stuff. Okay, we got uh, an arm. I think that's her arm. All right, I don't think that's her arm, so I have to keep looking. Okay, and then we got uh, a little bit of smoke. That must go to someone. I got to figure out who that goes to. All right, so let's see what's next. Oh, this is cute. We got a little green, neon green koopy. I really like that. All right, going into my collection. Okay, and then we got uh, Diglett. Uh, I'm so bad at uh, Pokemon names. He needs a little bit of love and care, but he looks like he's in good shape. He's just a little dirty. Okay, we have... Oh, cool. We have a Attack on Titan. Steam Titan. Oh, maybe that's what that Steam part goes to. Where did I just stick that? Yeah, I think this goes on here. Oh, yeah. All right, so there's one arm. It looks like he's missing another arm, though. He's really cute, though. I love Attack on Titans. That's cool. And then we got a uh, little Sailor Moon Kitty. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, we have Sailor Pluto. I forget the black one. She's missing her arm, though. Maybe that's what the other one goes to. Yeah. Okay, so that's her arm from V4. There we go. She's complete. Oh, these are cute. I really like these. Again, a little bit dirty, but just with a little bit of soap and water, they'll clean up real nice. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, two for one. Okay, we have a Pikachu. Vintage Pokemon guy, and another one of these Dragon Ball Z guys. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I think we're running out. A couple more things. We have a blue troll. He looks really cool. I like these crazy colored trolls. These are actually kind of awesome. And... Anything else in here? Okay, I gotta look in the bag. Got, uh, 
piece of plastic. Oh, this is for the kitty. I could tell by the shape of the everything that... Okay, there we go. So that's her base. Okay, so she's complete. Very cool. So that's everything. I know some of you guys are going to go crazy because I'm getting names wrong, but I am so bad with remembering names, even for some of my favorite stuff. I'm very visual, so I see things visually, and I have to kind of like translate it in my brain to understand the name. And so I'm really bad at that, but I don't care. I love it. It's awesome stuff. So I had fun going through this bag. If you guys like this kind of video where I find a random bag of toys and go through them and kind of pick out what I want, let me know in the comments below. I'll look for more little random collections like this. Um, so I'll show you a close up of everything I got in this bag. It was a lot of cool stuff. I'm keeping like a third of it. The rest I'm going to put in my store. So I'm going to make some other people happy. And I had fun going through this bag. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel because I want to make videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff.